Right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another NBA basketball video for today. My New York Knicks, my favorite NBA team. The toughest NBA team ever, apparently. He had most 1993 all season team at John Starks, Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley, and Anthony Mason, and a lot more players. Uh, some rare footage. So I'm very excited to see what they were doing back in the day. Obviously, the game has evolved so much with how it is back in the 90s. Um, the talent wise now is simply incredible. We've seen with the amount of 30 point games, 40 point games. Donovan Mitchell dropped a 70 uh, a week or so back. And man, I'm excited. Obviously, the Knicks did win last, did win last night. Was that four straight wins? What a, what a weird team this team is, man. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started with the video. Don't forget to like the video and sub as well if you are new to this lovely, outstanding channel. And uh, shout out to B-Ball Vault. Let's get started. Ooh. Oh, here. Down to 20 seconds to go in this opening quarter. Okay, good defense. High pick and roll. Link, okay. Good pass down low. That's a four shot. Oh! Clyde Jackson again heated. Clyde Jackson again heated, huh? That man mad, man. My God, mad, man. Clyde Jackson. Who would have thought? They're smacking him, though. 25 14. Hard rebound. Chest to chest. Alright. It's, it's a little verbal altercation. It's not anything new. Give it to him in the, uh, the low block. 92. Oh, jeez. Good shot, boy. Oh, we have something brewing here. Anthony Mason involved along with Chris Morris. Mason wisely walks away. Rest in peace, Jason uh, Petrovic. What a player he was, from what from what I know. Well, we discussed this earlier. There are some bad feelings. <laughs> Who is 34? Who are you? Who are you, bro? No offense, but my guy. Coleman and Morris. And Mason carrying the we were embarrassed. Phrase into this game from the last game. Perhaps some of the Nets read the paper today and didn't enjoy the tough talking from the Knicks. Joe Lucas piling his way inside. Oh, God, Lee. Oh, jeez. Good shot, though, by Kiki uh, Vandeweghe. Oh, hey. Yo, bro. What's, what's good? We don't. Why, why is that needed? Why? Why? Why is that needed? I guess. And Bowie was fouled. The Knicks collapsing on Bowie. And 34 is still talking. Now it's Patrick Ewing. <laughs> As they make their way down court. Those aren't happy words either. <laughs> Then my boy uh, McDaniel, get, get off me, Bowie, Bus. He's still touching them. Jesus Christ, hey! Calm down, calm down, X Man. Hey, the Bowie gets tackled. Then my guy's touching Oakley. Chill, man, chill, chill. <laughs> chill. Chill, chill. And Mark Jackson and Derek Coleman now are having some chill. Mason gets to the ball. We have Starks. Hey! John Starks with a pretty move. 
And Bowie's still talking to him. Shut up. Just play the game. Just play the game. Golly, John. What was that? What was that? <laughs> what is Starks mad about? <laughs> Rambus ain't do anything. Good pass. Actually, not awful pass. <laughs> Good job, Starks. Good job, Starks. 92. Going back in time. January 5th. Oh, what pass. Stop playing with my boy Pat. Stop playing with my boy Pat. Oh, Pat Mark Jackson. Hee hee. Yeah, Pat. Delay. Calm down, Ant. Calm down, Ant. You good, bro? You good, bro? You good, bro? With delay? Come on, Pat. Uh-oh. <laughs> Johnny Starks. John Starks, quick jab step. Pass you one sec. That's that's boom time right there. That's straight boom time right there. On that man's head. What do the uh, kids do now? <laughs> what that do today? Okay. Oh, he had right there. You ain't got to shoot that. Good shot. My bad. My bad, Starks. My bad, Starky. Oh, hey! Danny Yanks. Come on, bro. 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 Oh, ankle breaker. <laughs> he made the shot. The emotion of Xavier McDaniel will not be on the floor today. How much does that hurt the Knicks? I think the X-Man was the panacea for the Knicks because he could contain Pippen. Not only the tenacity that he brought to the game, but he did a good defense. I'm mad they they did keep him. Oh, oh. In that man's in that man's face. Get off me. Will be picked up by Anthony Mason and maybe some of the talking to uh, if Pat Riley will allow. Look at that. Just yelling at that man's ear. Golly, could be me. Golly, that's a flagger foul. That's a flagger foul. <laughs> that's a flagger. Oh, come on. 
Oh, come on! That wasn't anything vicious! Five personal foul goals, golly. That's what I'm saying. He got thrown. Game six, 92. When the New York Knicks faced the Chicago Bulls in game six, they weren't thinking about their own elimination. Though these Knicks sense something special about this improbable playoff run. Even the sight of Patrick Ewing. Oh, she is my ankle. ankle didn't mean the end. For the Knicks faithful, it rekindled memories of Willis Reed and that championship year when he found the courage to overcome injury. And in a similar inspired effort, Patrick Ewing rejoined the battle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Patrick, yeah! <laughs> he threw his will into his work and his wounded body into the opposition. And when it was done and he had nothing left to give, only then was he led away victorious. We had to check out some of these uh, Knicks and Bulls uh, matchups, man. Funny thing happened on the way to the Eastern Conference Championship. The Knicks took the heavily favored Bulls to the limit, physically and emotionally. Of course, time will tell. But as Jimmy Roberts reports, the Knicks series may just have been a wake-up call to the defending champions. One may need it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. The is known for its noise. That sound you might have heard rising above the Chicago skyline Sunday was probably a long, deep sigh of relief. Against New York, the Bulls thought sweet. The Knicks thought otherwise. And from the back pages to the back court, there in the Jay Mariotti. He sounds familiar. Maybe that's enough to wake us up and, and get us back to playing the type 35 of points per game. Jesus Christ. Can you just appreciate that right quick? Godly Mike. That we had last year. But the Bulls haven't played a basketball game in some two weeks against anybody other than the New York Knicks. Now in the space of just ESPN, games, Jimmy Roberts. I'm Jimmy Roberts, ESPN, Sports Center. Against Cleveland and one against New York is like the difference between ballet and slam dancing. I expect, you know, it's still going to be a lot of hard fouls and a few play on fouls, but I think overall the game will be a lot of fun. Not only will the Bulls probably collect fewer bruises against Cleveland than they did against New York. You don't care about that, Pitt. You're playing the Knicks. You already know what to expect. It's going to be some bad fouls, some bad blood going on between the two. Take it. That got me fired up. Anyway, that's got me fired up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video and sub as well if you are new to the channel. Stay safe. Stay amazing. Enjoy your day. Peace.